want to create a LifeWave lifestyle. So when you wake up in the morning, you're drinking water, and you should be drinking water now because it's a great way to help manage weight, clear toxins out, and give your body the water that it needs to produce energy. But wouldn't it be great if we could drink water that reversed the aging process? So, okay, so how are we going to do this? Um, you might recognize this as ice. And uh, so I want to do some experiments that is just a mark on there, so I know it's normal ice. Uh, but we did some experiments, and in our lab, we created a machine that restructures water in an entirely new way. So this is not alkaline water, it's not clustered water. This is something entirely different. Um, I contacted, I mentioned that I contacted a friend of mine who's a scientist that specializes in analyzing water. He's a physicist, and he's analyzed 200 different types of water. And I sent him what I'm about to show you, and I said, well, you know, what do you think about this? And he said, I have never seen anything like this before. I'm really excited to get involved with this project. So, what we want to do with this, the whole goal was to put energy into water so that when you drink it, it releases that energy into the body and triggers a regenerative effect. So, on the left is regular ice, on the right is the bottom of the beaker, and you'll notice all of these crystal formations, and in the center is an implosion. So, normally with ice, it expands as, as it freezes. And this water doesn't behave that way. It actually implodes. And some really unusual things happen. That was one of the first samples that I made. And you can clearly see an energy vortex that's frozen in the center. So, what's going on here is that as the water freezes, the energy is released and it implodes and forms this vortex pattern. By changing the settings on the equipment, interestingly enough, we can get different effects. And this is good because, as we know, each organ in the body, different cells have their own resonant frequency. So this means we can create custom water that goes to your heart, water that goes to your brain, water that goes over to your liver, and so on and so forth. I don't think they're making those yet, so we might have a market for that, right? Oh, I'm good, Renata, thank you. Um, okay, here's another uh, view of this, so you can get a uh, different view from it. And um, so this has been highly repeatable. It wasn't an accident. Uh, sometimes when we change the settings, we still get an implosion, but we get these other beautiful crystal formations uh, that happen. That's another uh, experiment that we did, again, showing an implosion, but just slightly modifying the settings. Okay, I have to prepare you for this one, because this one's really weird. Um, <laughs> I changed the settings on the equipment, and then I would open the freezer door, at that time, today we have a freezer door that has a glass front, so we do time-lapse photos, uh, which we're going to put on our social media, by the way, and um, so you can see what this water looks like as it freezes. I have some pictures to show you today. Um, but uh, in the original uh, start of this, I would open up the freezer door and look inside, and on this particular day, as the water was freezing, what I saw was this snake-like formation rising out of the water. Uh, so when you have one of these machines, you can do these tests yourself, uh, <laughs> if you so dare. Uh, there's just another view of it. Uh, but you can see there's clearly some energy in this water because water doesn't usually take the shape of triangles and snakes. Um, <laughs> the other thing that it did, which was really odd, as it began to freeze, the snake laid down 
and you can see it form this cylinder right on top of the water. So uh, that was kind of odd. Uh, I hope none of you are eating potato chips, right? They're not really very healthy. Well, apparently we found we could make water potato chips with this. Um, so we found the water could rise out of solution and form these weird potato chip structures. And there's another view of it. So there's clearly energy in the water and it's being released. Sometimes it forms fish scales uh, if you change the settings. And again, these beautiful triangular patterns. Uh, so the water again will implode, but it freezes into different shapes depending on what you're doing with it. So this is going to be something uh, that will happen in the future. And another thing that we found with it is that when you drink this water, the energy goes right to the head uh, in, w in one of them. And I'm going to show you now what I did with colloidal gold. And so we began to do some experiments other than just water. So I said, let's do uh, some metal colloid experiments since uh, metals can conduct electricity in the body. And of course, this is uh, what colloidal gold looks like. And as it starts to freeze, notice what happens. So I'm planning to take these beakers and hang them from my Christmas tree and have some beautiful <laughs> ornaments. That was my first thought. But then as it kept going, the ball began to shrink. Then after three hours and 45 minutes, it's imploding. Four hours, it's still imploding. And then four hours and 15 minutes, it disappears. So there's some very unusual phenomena that occurred. And by the way, since then, since unfreezing the water and cutting into it, the uh, colloid actually, uh, when it gets small enough, it comes out of solution. So you find uh, gold right at the center of that bubble. Um, this is just another example of what the colloidal gold looks like when it goes through freezing. Okay, another thing that we're going to do uh, with this company is develop technology to build the business, but the products we release are intended to benefit the planet. And... Um, Not that we're not benefiting the planet now, but we're going to develop products that do this in a very different way. So the type of things, you know, of course, that we're concerned about is, as we all know, prices of gasoline are increasing. Uh, we won't have access to fossil fuels in the near future because they all want us driving electric cars that are going to be recharged by nuclear power plants. Uh, so, you know, we're going from global warming to putting more nuclear waste in the ground, and uh, I personally am opposed to that and have a better solution. Um, and um, I don't know about any of you, but I think Bill Gates has enough money, and uh, he's the one funding these new nuclear power plants, and so I think that's got to stop. Um, And we want to do this in such a way uh, that we can have a business model, clean up the planet, do something that's environmentally friendly, do something that is consistent with how nature would do it. So you're going to see that tomorrow. Okay? Okay. Thank you very much.